total surprise today. I wanted to get a driving review of the car because you can't drive this car in the rain and now that it's not raining, it's probably the perfect time to do a driving review. miles an hour to a misfire. Good job, car. Good news and bad news, Tony. What do you want first? I want the bad news. Uh, okay, I can't really tell you the bad news right, because I gotta... The GT500 is ready. So that's not bad. We that, got okay. That's the good news. The GT500 is ready at the dealer. Okay. I know what happened. Stupid problem. Okay. Usually is. But the bad news. What's the bad? News? Just guess what the bad news is. The bad news is is it's not all the way fixed, but we can still pick it up because the update's not ready. You're cool. really freaking close. Was I? It's it's actually still broken. All right, this is the this is the deal. So the dealer calls me and says, "Hey, Houston, look, we pulled it out. We put a brand new crank sensor in it, and the crank sensor, um, well, that right there was supposed to be." Uh, the solve. So they, they got it out, they drove it, they went and they parked it, and the emergency brake caliper broke. The actuator on the e-brake caliper. So I'm like, no way. You guys kidding me? You guys literally like, the car has like 50 miles on it. So apparently a lot of GT500s have had faulty crank sensors. They actually have a ECU flash for misfires. Too. So they flashed it, that didn't fix it, they needed more misfire correction and a whole bunch of stuff. So now we're gonna go pick it up. The car still has the same miles on it. I told him, I said, just disconnect the e-brake caliper because the guy told me, he's like, we don't even have a part number for this part. And it's one of the first times they've done a caliper like this. So we've got to figure it out. We don't know what to do. And now we're gonna go pick it up. So I'm just said, look, I'm just gonna drive it because I have a feeling more is gonna break on this car. It's the first of its kind and they don't test them for crap. So. Let's go pick it up and just drive it a little bit. I'll drive it home tonight, I'll drive it around. And if it doesn't break, then CES 2020 on the weekend, you got the option to drive the brand new 2020 GT500. So, Tony, what car ready. shall we take? We shall take, what's out front? <laughs> a Skittles array of Huracans. You're right. Pass. Um, <laughs> let's take that nice white S63 over there. Uh, I can't. I like that car. It has no gas. <laughs> what else is good? What about that right there? G63 Brabus. I like it. I like it. So we've got the Brabus G63 on rotoform wheels. This car was just purchased. It is amazing looking. It is actually wrapped in this color here. I don't know if we're gonna keep it wrapped this color. The stock color is palladium silver. Uh, let's unlock it so we can see the inside. But the inside has a beautiful, let me look at the steering wheel right here, a beautiful orange interior uh, with Hermes stitching on the top. I like this car a lot. The new G63s are almost $230,000. This car uh, is a 16 certified with 30,000 miles. It's a beautiful car. It's got a crazy exhaust on it. Just listen to this. I mean, come on, that's ridiculous. I bet you this thing will run some races. This is a twin turbo V8 uh, with that retarded exhaust. Anyways, beautiful car. I need to do a full review on this car next. So after we get the GT500, look out for this video. See, or actually it's the Porsche that is not like, Porsche starts right here. There. I can see my car, looking nice, super lime green. Uh, we actually have license plates for it. I registered it yesterday, which is great. So it got registered before it even got driven. That's cool. Uh, all right, well, let's get an update from them and I'll give you guys an update when I get back and uh, I get in the car. Now we got 74 miles on the car, and uh, I wonder what that's gonna feel like. So we're gonna go out there and check. Cool. 
let's get the mode set right. Let's go to sport mode. Uh, exhaust will go to, uh, I don't know, sport mode, I guess. And uh, I'm gonna roll the windows up just a little bit, turn the lights to automatic. And let's see, is the car warm? We're, we're getting close, so we're not gonna get into it too much until it gets warm. Not much you can do when you're sitting next to iron control. For everybody watching that's old enough to remember Final Destination movies, but there was this one where there was a truck that had all these like metal bars in it. And every time I see a guy rolling with ladders like this, I always think about that movie and I never drive behind him because like if that ladder comes out, it's going straight through your head. Not like something that they want to think about, but that was a crazy, really crazy movie. Right back to a misfire. Literally exactly what I thought was going to happen. I just don't understand. I literally don't get it. I knew, I just, I swear to God I had that feeling. I swear to you I had that feeling. Right back to a misfire. Unbelievable. <laughs> it's just like, why? This is gonna be a lemon, I swear to you, it's gonna be a lemon. Brand new GT500, lemon for sure. Come on! There it is. I mean, I was barely in it. Cruising in fourth gear. I mean, it's right after the blower comes on. That's the problem. You know, I think the dealer, when they drove the car, I don't know how long they drove it, but when they drove the car, I mean, that they probably just went from zero to 4,000 and didn't get over the, into the blower. So we obviously have a problem and now we need to turn back around and go drop it right back off. Oh, I want this car so bad. I literally want it so bad. And it sucks because like, this is just a real thing. Look, 4,000, okay, let me get some uh, traction. Almost there, and you're gonna start seeing it. Feel it, misfire, boom. Flashing check engine light, right there. Just the second it gets boost. I, I, don't, even, I don't even know if this car's fast because it doesn't go over 4,000 RPMs. It's crazy to me that there's literally the brand new car and it crank sensor, they checked all the spark plugs, they checked everything. Well, Ford, you can have this one back because it can barely even drive. Now that we're here, um, look, the car drives fine up until 4,000 RPMs and then you just get solid, you know, misfire. I mean, I don't think the car has seen over 4,000 RPMs yet. So I, I don't know what they're gonna do here, but I'm obviously gonna go in. I'm gonna talk to the uh, Jerry, the man, or the uh, service manager here, and we're gonna find out because look, I gotta get this car. And if this one doesn't work, we need to get a different one. You know, like they have lemon laws for a reason and they've got to figure out why this car is misfiring. So um, I don't know, I'll let you guys know what they say, but I'm gonna go into service center, I'm gonna park it in here and we'll talk to them. So I think engineering is gonna have to get involved from Ford and, and figure out the actual cause of this because a crank sensor goes in i mean you know they said it's fixed so let's see what they think now end result the car is back here this car sucks like super sucks so um this isn't instagram but like at ford you guys suck and uh, there was a TSB, well, I guess a technical service bulletin, for a software reflash for misfiring. Um, I don't know what you guys are, what your plans are, or, or whatever, but um, I think you should fix this car so that people can enjoy it, you know? I really think that people want to drive this car, and I spent a crap ton of money on it, so I'd like it to work. So guys, please fix it. Um, and I, if you can fix it, that's great. If you can't fix it, just give me a new one or I'll go buy another one. You guys worry about that one later. Um, I take an orange one, because I'm, I'm really feeling the orange color right now, if you guys can't tell. I got orange everything. Uh, I even have orange on my shoes. So look, to end this video, like the video so that Ford can see this video and that they can understand that, man, like, this car sucks. Yes. And the more exposure that this video is gonna get, the more um, interested Ford's gonna be in fixing it. All right, guys, so we'll see what happens next.